Well, we are learning new details tonight about the two-year-old Marion girl who was found dead in her crib. Police believe her shirt may have caught fire, and her caregiver, who was babysitting her, never took her in to get medical attention. News Channel 15's Megan Royce has the latest from Studio 15. Megan? Heather, the details inside these court documents are downright gruesome. Police say something could have been done to save the girl's life. According to court documents, 27-year-old Donald Riddle was watching the young girl and her siblings here at Maplewood Village Mobile Home Park in Marion. The mother of the young girl, Juanita Lloyd, said Riddle lives with her and is the caregiver for her kids when she's at work. That mobile home is where police found two-year-old Ariana Carmack dead. They say she had burns on her face and all over her torso. Her skin red and leathery. A burn expert says it looks like the girl's shirt caught on fire. Doctors believe her shirt wasn't taken off fast enough once it was on fire. Instead of taking the girl in to be seen by a doctor, police say Riddle put her in her crib where she later died. Doctors believe she may have been in extreme pain and distress. When her mother got home from work, she never checked on the girl. She says Riddle told her the girl was sleeping and was fine. The following night after dinner, Lloyd went to go check on the girl. That's when she found her dead. She asked Riddle to call 911, but he never did. Instead, he fled to Sweetster, and that's where police found him. Right now, Riddle is in jail on a $250,000 cash-only bond. He's facing one count of neglect of a dependent resulting in death, and a felony for having a controlled substance. Reporting Studio 15 tonight, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.